Good morning. Welcome to my home and welcome to my heart. I have to go a little bit late today because the puppies, uh, little pile of them over there, they play from 10 o'clock till about 10.30 and it's very noisy. So I have to work around their playtime. Welcome, welcome. There's many holidays being celebrated this time of year. I celebrate Christmas, as you can see. Lots of people are celebrating Hanukkah and apparently there's about 20 different holidays being celebrated between now and middle of January. So whatever holiday you're celebrating, whatever sacred time it is for you, whatever joyful time it is for you, my blessings on your holiday and merry holidays of whatever sort you're, you're celebrating. I labeled this Qigong along with me in a feel it label because as we do the different movements people always ask master Lin and they ask me um, which movement is more is best for XYZ symptom well they all are because they all blend into each other but there will be times when you're doing your movements when you think I want to sit in this particular movement for a little bit longer because that's what your body is calling you to do at that moment and that's what the whole process is about, is about listening to your body, listening to the information from the universe, and getting information specifically for you. So today I'm going to go through fairly quickly, I'm, I'm going to keep my front end of the chatting brief, I'm going to go through fairly quickly all five of the elements so that you get them again, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go into what I would call a stream of consciousness <laughs> um, movement and I'm going to just follow the ones that I want that my body is calling me to follow and from you picking which ones they are so the first one is the moving of yin and yang the second one is breathing of the universe the third one is peace so we have the whole globe above us we're bending our knees and bringing in peace the fourth one is contentment Fifth one is gratitude. So as you feel those, and I will, I will again go through them each in the meditative process, but I wanted just to put them into your mind right now. I will take you through the, the meditation and take, the, take you through fairly quickly, one movement into the next, one movement into the next, and then I'm going to settle into whatever movement I feel my body wants in that moment. I don't know right now what it is. And so that practice at the end is going to be fairly quiet. I'm not going to dictate things. I'm just going to practice myself and allow you to practice yourself as well. So the first part of our practice is always a bounce and a tap. Let's start with tapping first. We're going to tap above the eyebrows. <laughs> it always surprised. Well, I shouldn't surprise me anymore. As soon as I start tapping, <clears throat> excuse me, anywhere on my body, um, phlegm moved into my throat and <clears throat> things started clearing there. I don't have a cold, I'm not stuffed up or anything, but as soon as I started tapping, my body started to release. Liquids are moving. I yawned instantly. So those things might seem insignificant. And this is why sometimes people will come away from this, from this practice or EFT or any of these practices and go, oh, that didn't do anything because the movements happen so quickly and the changes happen so quickly and they're so subtle and soft that we miss them. We miss them. So back to the tapping. <clears throat> as soon as I start to tap, my body wants to take a long, slow, deep breath. My eyes want to close. <sighs> underneath the eyebrow, underneath the eyes. So the eyebrows was our bladder meridian. The eyes are the, underneath the eyes is the stomach meridian. In the bladder, that's kidneys, that's blue, that's releasing um, fear. Putting in gratitude under the eyes is anxiety. We're releasing anxiety. It's the stomach meridian. It's yellow. It's the spleen. We're bringing in happiness. No, nope. we're bringing in joy. No, no, peace. Sorry. <laughs> I do that. Tapping down the whole body now. Now we're into more global, into the lungs. The lungs is letting go of depression and sadness. Bringing in contentment. The color is white. Underneath the armpits, this is the heart energy. This is a red color. The contracting emotion is anger. 
the expanding emotion is joy. <clears throat> We're gonna rub our kidneys. That is the water element, color is blue. The contracting emotion in kidneys is fear and the expanding emotion is gratitude. So we're gonna tap those kidney, and that, now we're gonna tap down into the sacrum <clears throat> and tapping down into the hips. <sighs> All right, and into our bounce. Nice deep bounce and as we close our eyes, so we, as we breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth, I invite you to observe posture is really important in spring forest qigong so i'd like you to observe your posture and observe as you bounce if there's anything that feels kind of rigid or tight or if there's anything that feels like it's <clears throat> you're creating pain in the bounce in any way if you adjust your posture that might go away Please do not bounce into pain. Do not push past pain. This is not what this process is. We listen to our whole body. We receive our whole body in love and kindness and forgiveness and compassion and joy and happiness. Speaking of joy and happiness, swivel like a little child. Back and forth and back and forth. Nice and easy. Chin is down, head is rising up into the universe with that Pinocchio string right there. Just and bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And as we bounce, we're releasing any extra energy that no longer serves us, energy that came in to protect us in some way, to warn us, to slow us down, to speed us up. All kinds of reasons extra energy would come in. And the energy that comes in does not always need to stay. And so when it's finished its job, sometimes it needs a little help to release again. And the bouncing helps to release anything that's ready to go. We're gonna use our breath to come into a, bring our body into a quiet stillness like a bird, like a great big beautiful white swan landing on a pristine lake. And it lands and then it folds up and then it's serene instantly. So we're gonna use our breath to come in and land. Our breath now changes to in through our nose and out through our nose. Our hands expand away from our body. We have a smile on our face, our shoulders open and, and slide back and down. The more we do this, the more our bodies condition themselves to move into this space. And this is the flow of chi right here. We're opened up all of our channels and we say to ourselves, all my channels are open, open, open. Everything is moving absolutely perfectly in my body. Any blockages have been removed. They've gone back to the universe. And love and joy and kindness and thankfulness, gratitude. We bring our hands to the lower Dantian. Here at the lower Dantian, which is the beginning of the universe position. Here we give the password. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together as one. And here in this space with this password, we now call upon the energy of our master. We see our master coming to us across the universe. Joy and happiness on their face and we feel unconditional love coming from their heart as well. As our master arrives with us, we feel that they have an energy ball in their hand. And they hand that energy ball and we take it into our heart. And from our heart, we move it down into our lower dantian. And here we feel our body with us, our mind with us, our spirit with us, and our soul all united, all in this space. And 
And in this space now we call upon the energy of our master and say something like, and we set the intention for our practice. Dear master, with deep gratitude for all that I have received, for all that I know, for all that thou dost infuse into my whole being. I set my intention for my practice today. And what is it that you would like this practice to do for you? My intention is that my practice will reach others in love and joy. That my sharing of my, this practice will bless other people. and raise them into balance so that they have the strength to cope with the intensity of their life today. As we set the intention for our practice, this is our yi, our intention is our yi. Our chi is our body's energy. It's energy that has life force to it. It creates life, it sustains life. It has a blueprint, so it knows how our life can perfectly be. And it has intelligence to carry out that blueprint. And our yi directs our chi, so the intention that we set. My other intention is for these little puppies to find homes this week so that they can go and do the job that they have been brought to this earth to do to share love and happiness with other people. First movement, the moving of yin and yang. Right hand comes up to the throat, elbows are open. When the elbows are open, chi flows smoothly through all the channels, flows smoothly through the armpits, through the ribs, Right hand moves up and out and down, left hand moves in and up. And as we move yin and yang, we breathe deeply and slowly. And we breathe in the feeling of happiness. We release any feelings that we might have of anger. Breathing in happiness, releasing with joy and gratitude and gratefulness for the lessons that any anger taught us, and breathing in happiness. Every cell of my body is happy in this moment. I breathe in happiness through my skin, through my pores, through my eyes, through my hair. Every little bit of me is happy. Moving into breathing of the universe. Hands slowly moving down to the lower dantian. Hold that beautiful energy ball that is a mix, perfect balance of yin and yang. As we breathe in, we allow our knees to bend. We reach down into the earth with our body. Our hands expand. We're feeling the expansion and the pressure in our palms. We breathe in and we breathe in joy. As we breathe out, we stretch up, we compress this beautiful chi, condense it. As we breathe in, we expand and bring in more. Breathing in joy. Releasing any feelings of anger. Releasing any feelings of hatred. Breathing in joy. Our energy ball together now raising it up to the universe, 
connecting heaven and earth. This beautiful energy ball for me, it is the a beautiful white light and it's opalescent and it shimmers and it vibrates and it hums. And as we breathe in, we breathe in the feeling of peace as we bend our knees. Remember that any of these movements can be done standing, sitting and lying down. And so if your arms cannot reach up high or they get tired quickly, let them float down again and then visual them, visualize them up in the perfect position. Shoulders drop down, chin down, smile on our face and breathing in peace. Breathing in peace. Hands floating back down. Take your right foot out. Hands to the lower dantian, fingertips touching. Shifting our body weight to the left. Remember our posture, open the shoulders. Shoulders drop down. Shifting your blowing out as we go to the right. Breathing in to the left. Breathing out to the right. As we breathe in, we breathe in the feeling of contentment. In this moment, I am content. Breathe out anything that is not contentment. Any sadness, any feelings of depression, any feelings of stopping and not being able to move on. Be in this space. Wu Wei. Breathing in. Breathing out in perfect contentment. Wu Wei means to do nothing. Coming back to the center, right foot walks forward, hands come together, thumbs on the heart, elbows are open, bending our knees, just from the mid rib cage, bending forward in gratitude. As you breathe in, bend forward, think of one thing that you're grateful for. I am grateful for air to breathe. I am grateful for animals. I am grateful for wisdom and knowledge. I am grateful for love. I am grateful for my master. And now I invite you to either stay on this movement or return to any of the other movements in whatever sequence you would like. Will be silent practice.
one more minute of your own practice. Our hands back to the lower dantian beginning of the universe think back into your practice were there times when time kind of stood still you checked out that checking out space that space where nothing is happening that is the emptiness that is the oneness, that is the emptiness that has all unconditional love and all possibility in it. Here at our lower dantian space with our hands at the lower dantian, we see our chi spinning faster and faster to the right and brighter and brighter and faster and faster and smaller and smaller and it condenses. And we invite it into our lower dantian, our navel. There is health in our navel and marrow in our bones. And as we invite it in, it is our reservoir, beautiful chi. It works off our intention. As we refine our intentions, we purify our chi and our bodies purify. And now we harvest our chi, rubbing our hands together. <clears throat> Bring your hands to our face. On either side of our face, we massage our face up into the hairline, down into a heart shape and say to yourself, I love you. Use your own name. I would say, I love you, Roxy. Use your own name. Speak it out loud. Our face has a representation for our whole body in it. And as we stroke it lovingly and kindly, like we would a newborn baby for whom we hold unconditional, beautiful love. As we feel our master and ourself massaging our face and saying to ourself, I love you. Feel that sink into every cell. Top of the head, let's tap. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna create cupping hands and just tap down the whole head, from the front to the back. We're gonna massage our ears. You're basically gonna take your fingers from the, where your earlobe or your ear bell, whatever this part is called. <laughs> It's gonna rub that whole thing and give a little tug on the earlobe. Your ears also represent every part of your body. There's nerve endings and everything. We are also massaging the whole body, tapping down the body. Clapping our hands together in this, there's a heart center right there in our hands. As we clap, we bring more joy into our bodies and into our hearts. We're going to tap under the left armpit and the right armpit. Left hand goes out, palm up, tap all the way down, turn the palm down, 
palm up, palm down. Palm up, palm down, and switch hands. Palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. Interlacing our fingers. We're gonna massage our whole organ system clockwise. And as we massage it, give, th give send thankfulness and gratitude to each piece of our body. The liver, the spleen, the gallbladder, the stomach, the pancreas, the large intestines, the small intestines, all the little glands in there, all the systems, and say thank you so much. All my systems are open, open, open. All my channels are open. Everything works perfectly. And thank you so much for all the work you do for me. Backs of our hands, rubbing our kidneys. Fronts of our hands, rubbing our kidneys. Kidneys are vitality center, releasing any fear, sending into gratitude and tapping our sacrum, our tailbone. And tap the outsides of our hips. And the groin. And down to the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the backs of the knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the left knee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and the right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up on the toes and dropping to the heels. If you're pregnant, do not do the heel drop. Three, four, Five, you can use your visualization, imagine in your mind. We're bringing energy up through a bubbling spring and dropping it down into our heels. Thank you for practicing with me today. I really appreciate you being with me. Whatever you, whenever you receive this meditation, I hope that it blesses your life. Namaste. I love you. I'll see you again.